In power system, power lines are used to transfer power at different voltage levels, high voltage, medium voltage, and low voltage. The power lines are a kind of conductors that carry in power from generating stations to consumer area or electrical substation. In my previous tutorial videos about the exciting software, Many of you had difficulties on how to model power lines with the Xilin software. So in this video, first I am going to give a brief information about single line mode and then I will model a transmission power line system. So please watch it till the end. Power Factory software actually provides users with various capabilities for modeling power lines. Now let's go through all the required details and possible options for modeling power lines in transmission and distribution sectors. First, let us start from single line mode. This type of line is the most common mode for modeling power lines at various voltage level for both AC and DC system. Additionally, it can be used both for overhead lines and cable or underground modes with variety of structural features to perform different simulations. DR can be used aluminium, copper and aldrey as conductor of lines. Now let us move to the Dixilin software environment to be familiar with the required steps and processing of creating this type of lines. It is typed in the silent for line is shown as type LNE and for cable it is shown as type CAPSIS or type cable system. It is an example of the silent with 15 megawatt wind farm and containing 6 wind turbines with fully rated converters. And I am going to model and do the settings of our power lines through this example. Double click on one of these lines. From basic data, you can see the type of lines used here. If you click here, it will bring you to the setting window. If you look at here, it is written type LNE, so we can say that it is a single line mode. These are the required parameters for modeling single line mode. From here you can select either cable or overheat line. From system type you can choose AC or DC. Single line mode can be used as single phase, two phase or three phase with neutral or without neutral. There is also some required parameters in the load flow. If you want to add commonly used lines to project library as global type, go to the data manager from active project, open it as library. Then select equipment type library. Click on new object icon. And here you can see different types of line. Select line type and then OK. A new window is open where you can enter all the required information. Next let's look at the transmission tower line system. The transmission tower line system includes lattice support towers and conductor cables. And this is a necessary lifeline project as a high voltage electric power carrier. Before going to the city in the island, let us draw a practical transmission tower to have a better understanding of its structure and coordination. First draw a horizontal line to determine the positive and negative x-axis. Then select origin and draw a vertical line which is positive y-axis. Then complete its drawing. The power transmission power consists 
the peak which is the top portion of the tower cage which is the portion between tower body and peak this portion of tower holds the cross arm the cross arm of transmission tower holds the transmission conductor and dimension depends on the level of transmission voltage and minimum forming angle for stress distribution next we have the transmission tower body which plays a vital role in maintaining the required ground clearance of the bottom conductor of transmission line as you can see here we have double circuit transmission lines which are connected to each tower in this island we will use line coupling to study the effect of double circuit transmission lines here the aim that i have drawn the transmission tower is to be familiar with the Cartesian coordinate of the tower and later in this island we will use them to determine the size of the tower therefore the tower base is used as the origin of the coordinate system okay now let us see the required steps for analyzing transmission tower line systems in this island select these two lines go to the define and select line couplings make sure that you are in equipment type library next click on new object button to create a tower geometry type select from a special type click ok a new window is opening here in this opening page enter the required tower informations enter number of earth wires as one number of line circuit as two that represents the double transmission lines the values for coordinates of earth wire and coordinate phase circuit depends on your design and the amount of carrying power since we selected the tower bus as the origin of the coordinate system so enter zero value for x and in this case it is always zero and y axis here represents the height of the tower so i am going to give it as four to five meter for coordinate phase circuits or double circuit transmission lines enter three for number of phases both for circuit one and two because we are working on three phase system if you look at the schematic of transmission tower x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 coordinates are placed in the positive x-axis and minus x1 y1 minus x2 y2 and minus x3 y3 are coordinated in the negative x-axis so the values that we give for y1 y2 and y3 in the right side we can provide the same values for the left side but for x1 x2 and x3 we need to only change the sign for the left side for x coordinates let's give 4.2 meter for x1 5 for x2 and 3.6 for x3 give the same values for circuit 2 and only change the sign for y coordinates let us enter 20 meter for the first cross arm of transmission tower y1 30 meter for y2 and 40 meter for y3 enter the same values for circuit 2 next double click on tower geometry type then double click on one of this cable to determine the line sequence and conductor types one of the double circuit transmission lines must be set to ABC sequence and the other to CBA sequence. So change the second circuit transmission line to CBA. Next double click here to determine the types of conductors for the earth lines. Click on new object, 
give 24 kV for nominal voltage and 1.5 kA for nominal current. Click OK. Next, determine the type of conductors for the double circuit transmission lines. Double click here, create new object, name it as T line. Give 24 kV for nominal voltage. 0.573 Ka for nominal current. For DC resistance at 20 centigrade, enter 0.183 ohm or kilometer. 7.46 millimeter for GMR. And for outer diameter, give 18.13 millimeter. From load flow, give 0 0.25 ohm or kilometer for DC resistance at 80 centigrade. Click OK. Select the same type for the other lines. Click OK. OK. Now the transmission tower line is created for this system. If you open data manager, From wind farm grid, you can see that the line coupling are created here. To see how this coupling line affect on our system, please look at my previous video and the link is in the description. We have also a tower type and cable lines and the settings are almost the same. If you didn't understand, write and I will make a separate video. So I will stop here. I hope the video was useful. So see you in the next video.